Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of X4 Foundations. So a lot of good stuff has happened since our very first video in the series and a lot of that revolved around exploration. So we know that uh, our plan is to very quickly get a, a fleet of miners that are going around and then eventually get into auto trading as well. But before we can do that, we really need to make sure that not only do we find places for our miners to actually mine resources, we also need to uncover places where they can sell those resources. So that's what I've been trying to do. I've done a little bit of exploration. Let's go ahead and pull up the map and back out. You can see we are currently at the Argon Wharf. That's because we're about to start buying some ships. But as we scroll back out, you can see we've spent uh, a lot of time not only in Black Hole Sun, and you can see I have uncovered uh, a good portion of this area. Again, just trying to find all of the available uh, stations that we possibly can, because the more stations we uncover, the better our trading possibilities are going to be in the future. And of course, we also need to uncover places to sell our resources from our miners. So if you look over in uh, Flashpoint, Second Contact 2, you can see there are there are a lot of jump gates and accelerators over in this area that lead to, so this is sort of a, a good hub, and I have uncovered quite a bit in this particular hub. Now, the good thing is we have uncovered uh, quite a bit of area to sell various mining resources. So we've uncovered so far, looks like about what, 33 stations total. And out of those, we found somewhere to sell ore, actually a couple of places to sell ore in a couple of different areas, uh, methane, as well as ice. But there are a few things that we still need to uncover in order to have uh, places to sell these things. One of those is Nvidium and the other is uh, silicon. Once we uncover places to sell those, we will be in much better shape. So we've got a few things to take care of in today's video, and of course, exploration is always on the agenda because we are just getting started exploring the map. So as we come back into the Argon Wharf, it is time for us to say goodbye to our starter vessel as our main ship. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pull up the menu and I'm going to go under upgrade and repair and we're going to start out by doing some upgrades to this particular ship and I want to do this before we get to our next part which is making some more money and let's see let's go ahead and give him a travel drive because where I want this guy to be is I want him to be our explorer I want to outfit him with a nice travel drive at 3,900 meters per second so that he can get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. So that's going to be good. We're basically going to automate this guy as much as we possibly can anyway and have him travel around to the different sectors and uh, open up as much area to us as is possible. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, that's actually not a whole lot better Okay, I think I want to go ahead and go with the MK2 version of uh, the combat uh, thrusters just to be on the safe side. We're going to give him a nice size uh, shield. You can see that's up to 1,400. Again, he's not going to be a fighter. Uh, he's simply going to be exploring, but I want to try to keep him alive <laughs> and give him the best chance of survival that we possibly can. Now we get to the weapons, and this is where you're going to start to see the benefits of having a great... Uh, relationship and reputation with this particular faction. Right now, we have not reached that initial plus 10 threshold. So several of these things are in red because they're not available to us. Once we reach a plus 10, then these will open up and become available to us. So right now, what we're going to do, let's see, we have a pulse laser. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and give him, just based on the price of it, let's give him the MK2 version of the ion blaster. It's only 43,000. The pulse laser to upgrade it would be about twice that. Uh, and again, he's not going to be fighting a whole lot. So we're going to give him that one. Only room for one small weapon on the very front. Uh, software, 
we are going to go ahead and upgrade him with the MK2 just in case uh, we do fly this ship from time to time. Uh, we do not need the police scanner. In fact, I think it's actually illegal for us to have the, the police scanner right now, uh, given where we are on licenses. And we're going to give him the trading extension computer just in case. It's only 11,000 credits, so no problem there. And you can see with these upgrades, it's going to take him to $185,000 worth of work. Let's go ahead and bring that in. Everything is okay. That means no delays. And this should take about a minute based on what this is telling us. Let's confirm that order. And now if we actually come back into the map menu and go to property owned. All right, so we've got one ship. And I have hired a pilot. You can, in fact, you can just barely see him sitting inside there. So what I decided to do is a little bit of an experiment with this. I hired uh, one of the workers that we find on basically every station. He is not at all uh, good at his job right now as a pilot. He basically has zero skills of any kind. But the test I wanted to do is, as I have him explore around, I want to see if he actually gains levels. He should, but I'm not sure at what rate he will actually gain those levels. So we've got him in the pilot seat. And if we, again, come back to the property own and go under information, here you can see for sure that our pilot has zero skills. So he's not very good at all right now but we're going to try to improve that i've already had him fly about somewhere around between 15 and 20 missions uh just exploring around so we're going to continue with that very thing and so in order to do that we've got him highlighted let's go ahead and have him let's have him fly over to here to get started so we're going to click on fly to and then i'm just going to have him go sort of in some broad strokes around the area. And let's go over to here. So we're gonna cover sort of the edges of this area for a while. Okay, so now we're gonna go, that'll complete basically a circle there, more or less. And then we will come through here and uh, let's see, let's have him go, let's turn these off. We don't need that right now. So essentially you get the idea of what we're gonna have this guy do. His job is gonna be to explore the sector as fully as we reasonably need. And then after that, I'm going to have him come back and dock here just to make sure that I keep him safe for right now. So you can see he's going to have several orders to complete. And the idea is that hopefully over time, he will eventually become a one star and then a two star and so on. And once we're done having him scan uh, Argon Prime, we'll bring him over to Second Contact 7 and then over to the Void and continue on in that fashion. Okay, let's actually have him go ahead and get started. All right, let's see. Yes, he's already up and out, so that is excellent. So now we need to head over and get paid. So, whoops, we are actually going to get stuck in here if we're not careful. So let's head around the back, and we need to come over because while I was exploring... I might as well, as I'm flying through these asteroid fields, I might as well do some mining. So I did that, and boy, did we have some good luck at that. And that's what we're going to take a look at here as we come over to the trader. Okay, let's hop into the trader's area. So we're going to come over to the trader, but before we click on the trader and do that, let's actually come in, and I want to show you guys what I was able to get in my mining expedition. Take a look at that value, 4.9 million. And you can see that most of that comes from these burnite crystals. Those are the highest level crystals that I know of in the game. They are the most, uh, most expensive. 250,000 is the estimated value there. So a total of, after 13 of those, 
3.2 million. I only found one asteroid with the white crystal, so that'll give you an idea of how many crystals came from that one asteroid. So a very fortunate turn of events, as I wasn't really uh, trying all that hard to find them. I was basically just flying through and taking, up, uh, taking the crystals as I found them. Okay, so show me your wares, and we are going to load you up, lady, with with all of the stuff that we have that we don't need. All right, so now let's start with these. Again, I'm not going to worry about the pricing here. You could certainly get uh, some better prices or worse prices as you travel around. Uh, but for our purposes, we're going to make plenty of money out of this, and I'm not going to get too worried about it. 61 of those so there we go 5.3 million add that to the 2.2 million we already had and we're up to seven and a half million so quite a bit of money that we've been able to make uh, early on let's make sure that there's nothing we want to purchase in here okay we've already got the thrusters and let's see oh the hydraulic pump we pick those up Hello. on uh, generally on the civilians uh, the criminals that we take out to improve our reputation. So there we go, 5.3 million. Confirm that. You gotta be careful holding 5.3 million on your person at this point. All right, so now we have no ships, so we can't leave this area. But the good news is we are about to buy some ships. So let's take a look on the map once again and see what kind of ships that we want to buy. And I'm gonna scroll all the way back out so that we can get everything in. And again, you see total of 33 stations. And right now what I've done is under storage, I've taken off the container because we're not interested in any trading wares right now. We're interested in solid and liquid uh, opportunities to mine. So right now we have opened up places to sell ore, methane, nvidium. Oh, we have opened up somewhere to, to sell nvidium. Now I need to find out where that is because I do not remember that. Let's see, was it over here? Yes. There it is. At the Argonne Trading Station, we can sell NVIDIUM. Oh, that is awesome. Because you can tell 551 credits each on NVIDIUM is a good bit more than anything else we've got. So that is excellent news. Okay, let's take a look at our guy. He has not... Okay, you heard him just say, or maybe you could hear him just say that it was very faint that he had completed that order so again hopefully this will level him up over time because we gave him a lot of different orders for that very reason all right so we have places for really everything right now and so let's go ahead and get to it I'm gonna bring up the buy ships menu and we're gonna go straight to the medium vessels and we have 7.5 million dollars and we're gonna put that to work now there's a couple of things that we can't do right now. Uh, first and foremost, we can't buy any of the good fighters. And the reason we can't do that, again, is a licensing issue. Once we get our rep up to 10, then we'll be able to take care of that. So I'm not terribly worried about that right now. So we've got our trading vessels in here and then our miners. Let's go ahead and bring up the drill vanguard. Okay, and you can see we've got 4,900 cubic meters of solid storage and let's just go ahead and get this guy uh, pretty good we're going to outfit these guys pretty nicely we're going to give them the mk2 travel engine it's going to let him travel at a little over 3800 meters per second thrusters we're going to give him uh, he should be fine with the mk2 all around for that we're going to give him pretty good shield might as well that'll give him up to 4381 on that and let's see, what do we want to give him? He's only got room for one weapon. Um, I tell you what, let's go ahead and let's give him the mining drill MK2 version here for his weapon. And then his turrets, we're going to go the mining turret for one and two. So he's completely outfitted with mining capabilities. And then let's see, he really doesn't need a docking computer. We'll give him the basic one just in case we're ever uh, flying it. But, okay, we'll give him the basic software Order completed. beyond that. And let's see. 
Okay, we're going to need to give him the trading computer so that he can find places to sell his wares. All right, so I think we're good on software there. And consumables, we're going to give him a few resource probes. Five should be plenty for him. And then we'll do the same thing with a few uh, satellites, just in case he ends up into some sectors that we haven't visited yet. We can drop some of those down. And then finally, the crew. Uh, let's see, we've got room for nine crew total. I'm going to always want to carry a few Marines on board just in case he finds some uh, abandoned ships out there. And we can use the Marines to actually claim those. Uh, and then the rest, we're going to load him up with service crew uh, to effect repairs just in case they are needed. Okay, let's go back to consumables. There are no... Okay, this isn't quite a, a large enough ship to have the repair drones. I was going to throw a few of those in there as well. All right, so $657,000, but we're going to add that to the list. You can see it says everything is okay, but we're going to go ahead and get multiple of these. We're going to get two for ore, two for nevidium, and a couple for silicone once we find uh, places for that. So let's go ahead and get started with four of these. That'll take care of ore as well as nvidium. Okay, so that's, I'll tell you what, we need six, because we're going to go ahead and do ice as well. I forgot about that. Uh, ice is not nearly as, as productive um, and profitable, but we want to try to get the economy going. We want to stimulate as much of the economy as we can, and this is a great way of doing it. Still shows everything is okay, so we have not uh, given an order for more resources than the station has available. Going to cost us about, let's see, what was it, $3.9 Let's confirm that order, and let's see where they all show up. In fact, you can see them being built right before our eyes. If you look down here, we have, uh, in fact, this is only a few of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it did have enough room for all of them. We're taking up all the space, and again, you can see these things being built right before your eyes. While that is being taken care of, uh, here you can see the progress and how much time we have left on each of these. But one thing I want to do is come back under this guy and under behavior. Down here at the bottom, there are some things that I want to change. Uh, number one is the default response to pirate harassment. The global setting says attack. I don't want him attacking. If he's harassed by pirates, I simply want him to escape and just run away. We're not in the fighting uh, mode just yet. We don't have the equipment for that. And then the de default response to a found abandoned ship, which we were talking about earlier with the Marines, is go ahead and mark that. Okay, he doesn't have any Marines on board right now. Uh, we didn't give him any, but I want him to mark those and then, of course, notify me when that occurs, the same as what we're going to do with uh, the pirate harassments. All right, so he's got quite a bit that he's working on and still has not leveled up, which is not surprising. I didn't expect him to level up this quickly, but hey, you can always hope. All right, let's come back in, and looks like all of these are done. And this is a great site. Just take a look at all of these beautiful mining ships, all of them with our logo attached to it, and these guys are ready to get to work. So one by one, let's go ahead and take care of that. Our fleet is setting up quite nicely. Okay, so once again, we're going to highlight, choose information, and look at that piloting. Three star, excellent. That's what I need. Uh, it's not such a huge deal when you are auto trading, but, or excuse me, auto mining, but auto trading, it is a big deal because you need at least three. All right, so in this area, let's see, have I dropped any? No, I have not. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy. Uh, let's start him actually back down here a little bit. Okay, let's get rid of all of this stuff so we can actually see. So I'm going to have him come down here, and you can see what we have. Nvidium, 
silicone and ore we've got plenty of. Let's go ahead and do the Invidium. Let's go ahead and have him. I tell you what, let's do it this way. There are a couple of ways to do the auto mining. And let's actually have him fly here. There we go. So fly there. And then your default behavior is about to be auto mining. Navidium. And the number of gates to go through. Let's give you about... Let's give you about 10, about half of your maximum distance. That should give him plenty of distance that he can travel to not only find uh, the resources to mine, but also to sell. All right, everything looks good there. Let's go ahead and confirm that. All right, let's scroll back in here because I actually want to... Tell them to proceed with current orders. That'll get them off and running. And then we're going to do basically the same thing here with... Oh, one thing I did forget to do is change this. We're going to have them escape by default. And we're actually going to choose claim if possible on this because, remember, we did put some Marines on board. So we're going to choose that option. So now this one is, this drill vanguard is going to actually head out to exactly where we asked them to. And so now we're actually going to have this guy I'll wait for you to tell me to take off. have an order to fly outside. And then once outside, we're going to have you auto mine. Order completed. And then the same thing. Nvidium. So we'll start you, uh, these two guys, in some different areas. And same thing here. We'll give them uh, 10 gates to go through. That should be more than enough for what they need. Okay, let's go ahead and confirm that. Change our defaults down here to escape. And then claim, if at all possible. Okay, good. That is exactly what we want. Now let's get them to proceed with current orders. And that'll get them off and running. So that takes care of the Navidium for now. Uh, again, we've got so many of these ships that we could operate in all of the different sectors that we're going to open up along, uh, along the way. But for right now, this is a great way for us to get started. So now let's come in and set up. While I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and set up some defaults here okay now i'm going to have you come out and just sort of fly out here into the world somewhere then we're going to have you auto mine and this time you are going to be auto mining ore all right looks good confirm that Scroll back in and tell them to proceed with current orders. Okay, now same thing here. We're going to also put this one on claim if possible. Really want to find some abandoned ships, if at all possible. All right, so now let's have this guy come over to this area. We're going to have him fly over here. And then once you get there... We'll have you start auto mining. Order completed. Okay, so we should be good to go there. And we've taken care of our default settings. So now let's come back over to Argon Prime. And tell you to proceed with your current orders. Uh, basically, that what they're trying to do when they ask you to let them know when they should take off is they're trying to give you a chance to get on board if you decide you want to be on board with that particular ship. So that's what they're doing. Okay, now we've got our ice miners. So we need to get those guys set up. Same thing, claim if possible. But they'll let us know either way uh, what they're actually doing. Okay, let's have you, again, just fly out here somewhere. Okay, then we're going to auto mine. 
and you are going to be ice. And we'll go with 10 gates maximum. Confirm Always that. Better. And proceed with current orders. At some point, I need to rename these guys. But right now, we're just trying to get them up and going. Uh, and what I'll do is, is I'll most likely, we'll start to uh, name them based on what they are actually mining. That's the easiest way for me to keep track of it. Okay, so we need you to come down because I'm pretty sure we have ice down in this area. Let's see. Well, maybe we don't. How about that? I'm not sure if we have any over there. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to let them go out and they will find this on their own. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. So let's have them fly out there and then we'll have them auto mine. We'll choose ice. And once again, use our sort of standard 10 gates to jump. And that, that's a large distance. Now for trading, um, it's not nearly as much as with auto mining because they should be able to find not only resources to mine, but also a station to sell those resources within 10 gates. That shouldn't be all that big of a deal for them. So let's get these guys up and going. All right, now let's sort of scroll back just a little bit and see what we've got. Okay, we've still got everything happening in Argon Prime. And look at this. This guy has not found any stations in these areas. So it looks like everything in Argon Prime right now is right around the main uh, highway that runs through the middle. Okay, so no big deal there. I was hoping he would find a oh, few more here. stations, but for right now, he hasn't been able to do so. All right, so now that we have everybody up and running, you can see that we are currently alone here in the station and we got folks out roaming around. Okay, let's come back out. And now we're gonna come in Awaiting orders. and actually buy another ship. But this time we're gonna buy just a basic ship for us to fly around in. Now we don't want the Elite Vanguard because that's sort of what we had before. We could go with the Nova, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, and of course, we could go with one of these courier models and so on. But I think I'm just going to go with the Nova here. And this, again, will be a, a nice vessel to get us started. Let's see. We can travel at 4,500 meters per second. Yeah, I like that one. Then thrusters. We're going to go with the combat thrusters and the max shield capabilities that we can get. And then we got room for two weapons and no turrets. So again, we're kind of limited for right now with what we can purchase based on our lack of licensing. But I think what I'm gonna do is purchase a couple of pulse lasers. And that will give us a little bit of firepower there. Not a ton, but it should be enough. We're going to get the MK2 docking software. Again, just in case we are flying the ship. And we'll give it all of the additional software. So it's going to cost us 591,000 credits. And let's see. Oh, we've forgotten to do the crew. So we need a pilot, obviously. And I'll tell you what, let's do a couple of Marines and then one service crew. Okay, I think we have everything taken care of. Both weapons, shields, thrusters, and the travel engine. Okay, we are in good shape there. A little over 600,000 credits. Confirm that order. And now let's see if we can figure out where it's being made. Uh, because it will actually, there it is right there. I can see it materializing right before our eyes. So we'll head over toward that. 
So how about that? We got a lot done in today's video and we didn't even have to leave the wharf. You can see this guy being built. Uh, again, this is not really a good fighter vessel either, but it's got a good travel speed and I really think it's going to be a good thing uh, for us. So about 20 seconds left. I actually want to see... No, nope, it's not going to let me until it's actually completed. So let's let that 10 seconds run off. So we picked up a total of six miners in today's episode. And I am very excited about where we can go from there. That is going to give us... Let's go ahead and refresh our list here. Okay, let's go under information, and I want to see what kind of pilot we've got. Excellent. Three-star pilot. That is what I was hoping for. And then if we go under our crew, you can see we've got some basic recruit level and apprentice level crew at this point, but that is perfectly fine. So for now, this will be the vessel we'll be using to fly around in. And it looks pretty nice if I do say so myself pilot sitting in there waiting on us I'm not sure where we're hiding these other crewmen in there because there's not a whole lot of room inside there but either way I am very happy with everything we've been able to accomplish in today's video so that's going to do it for now thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we will continue our gameplay series of x4 foundations